Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, this is a B-flat standard Mandini by Cecilio Trumpet. Um, of course, it does not seem like it is a very legitimate instrument because when you look on the market, you can see these for only $100 and most of you guys who are into music are probably gonna know that a silver functional uh, trumpet is not, it's gonna be a bit more than $100. Uh, so I'm gonna break it down as a product and actually talk about its legitimacy um, and its response on the valves in the high and low registers. The first thing that you're gonna notice on this trumpet is that it is silver. This of course differs from the majority of trumpets. As you can see, this one is silver and often have little bits of rose brass gold. Sometimes they're totally rose brass, but a solid silver trumpet is usually more expensive. Now, of course, this trumpet is not solid silver. It is your average brass um, instrument, but it does have nickel plating, which gives it that silver appearance that a lot of trumpet players like. The first thing that I noticed was, boom, that right there. It has a bit of a slight up curve to it, which I did not have on my previous Yamaha trumpet that I played on. Um, and it still has the same third valve slide um, ring right there for your index finger. But what I did notice is this here. And this is actually for tuning your F note. Um, pretend if I'm playing something and my F is flat, then I will know that. And I can just tune that specific note and I can pull that out a bit while I'm playing, the same as you would for when you're playing a D note. You're also gonna notice that this trumpet has very well soldered connection points. There's two right here on the top area, which holds the mouthpiece to the where the bell is actually connected to. Um, and there's one here, which makes it easier to push in um, and pull out like that when you can just grab it on with your thumb which I think is very helpful and it adds a bit of um, solidification and keeps the trumpet together so it won't break as easily because of these here. So notice on this trumpet that it has ridges on both the screw here and the actual ring, which makes it easier to um, have like connected down. So you can screw that in easier and it stays it doesn't move around as easily so you can screw it in like super tight like that it's not going anywhere the trumpet also has these right here these are your normal spit valves but it has plastic connectors instead of cork connectors which i find to be better at holding in any spit as the cork connectors on my old yamaha trumpet would often have a couple drops leak through but these are usually able to just keep everything inside valves here have black padding and this very nice marble almost design on the actual valves as well as containing ridges that we also saw on the third valve slide which makes it easier to unscrew this and oil it up and you can also hear that it is totally silent and very very smooth screwing it it has your standard valve uh, with a it, this one has a bronze spring on it and a plastic connector, which um, it has this little foam padding here too that rests like that just on top. And it makes it very easy to, once again, screw and unscrew that. And once it's all the way on, the spring does a very good job at keeping it smooth like I just said. Here you can also see that there are these little ledges. So for example, if it's not able to come out very easily from here, you're able to just Hold that with your thumb and fingers and take the slide off or push it back in from there. Like any other instrument, this does have logos on it. And to start, it says Mandini right here. I'm gonna move my hand so you can see it easier. But on the front bell right here, you can also see that it says Mandini by Cecilio. The entire length of this trumpet in total is 48 centimeters and the bell is 12 centimeters across all the way around. From the tallest point here to here, it is 15 centimeters if any of these dimensions matter to you. Now that everyone is familiar with its physical dimensions, dynamics, and features, let's talk a bit about how it plays. Let's talk about intonation. This slide here we already talked about moves the F and B flat notes to a sharper or flatter pitch depending on whatever you need. Like normal, this trumpet also features a second valve slide here, 
which you don't normally play and move while you're playing, but you can tune it if your B or F sharp is feeling a bit flat. Like normal, when playing a D or C sharp, move the third valve like this. Then there's your main tuning slide. This is normally what you're gonna go first if you're feeling flat on trumpet or sharp, you can bring it in. But then again, there are special reserves for tuning specific notes. This specific brand of trumpet, despite being so cheap, can play very well in the low and high registers. Starting with the low register, it normally depends on the player, as said for everything, but it can produce a loud and clear tone even when moving down to a low G. When playing in the middle ranges, usually from C to C in the middle B flat scale, it also produces a very nice sound. As well as the low and middle ranges, this can also work from notes C and above and all the way into the higher ranges. Remember, most of this, however, usually depends on the player or the mouthpiece you're using. Personally, I use a Bach 7C mouthpiece, but that will usually vary between people based on their embouchure. Before we wrap this up, let's talk a bit about the case. Starting with the inside of the case, as we can see, it has a bit of storage here, which comes with a cleaning rag, valve oil, a cap for when the pandemic happened and people had to play with these on their trumpet bells, and a pair of white gloves, which I don't carry around with me. It has a mouthpiece holder here, and a nice black padding that doesn't let the trumpet too loose, but it's not gonna dent it or hurt it if you drop it. Your standard zipper. All sided zippers can meet in the middle or go to one side, and then you can Velcro over the top like this. Use the Velcro here to turn the handle into one handle, like this. Finally, on the top, it has a zipper here for extra space, whether it's holding mouthpieces, a spit rag, or a plunger mute like I used to there. This is also branded well and has these little pads like this that make it easy to sit upright without tipping. Overall, for $100, this is definitely a steal of a deal. It has great intonation, toning, smooth valves and interesting features, and the case is very sufficient and efficient. While I don't recommend getting a blue or purple one off of Amazon, this is definitely something you're looking for if you're trying to find a cheap and nice trumpet for beginners and even intermediate players. Thank you all for watching. Bye.